So this is one of the more compact small angle scattering instruments that we have. Uh, this is the small angle scattering instrument. It sits on top of an X-ray generator with the X-ray source over here. X-rays come out on this side. They enter the monochromator. This is a multi-layer optics uh, which is designed to focus and monochrom monochromatize the beam. When we take a closer look at the actual instrument, we can see the components inside this instrument. So when we open the actual instrument, we see inside a few components. There is a collimation block over here, which uh, cuts off the X-ray beam to the shape that we want. A sample position over here, in this case with a temperature cell. Over here we have a beam stop and a detector at the very end. The whole length of this instrument is maybe 30 or 40 centimeters. The collimation block. Um, on, on the bottom of the collimation block we have the active, uh, the active part. Um, this is the col collimation part which is closest to the X-ray beam. And here we have the, uh, the collimation for the horizontal shape of the beam. And here this edge, this very edge of the collimation block, uh, is also a critical part of this collimation system. So this is the detection system in, uh, on our instrument. It's a Dectris Mython detector, which is a one-dimensional uh, strip detector, um, where, uh, which sits right behind this entrance window over here. So in these instruments, the X-ray beam is actually passing underneath the col collimation block, uh, through the sample position uh, uh, to the beam stop, where will we stop before it damages the detector. In our case we have a very nice detector, uh, this will not be damaged by the direct beam, however it's still preferred uh, to keep the beam stop in place when you're not doing something really strange with your experiments.